Refraction calculations. Example 1. Refraction through a glass block. A glass block has a refractive index of 1.65. A ray of light is incident at 50 degrees to the normal. Continue the ray of light through the glass block. Without any calculation, we expect that the ray of light will bend towards the normal on entering the glass, and bend away from the normal on exiting the glass. What physics do we know? We know Snell's law. N1 sine theta 1 equals N2 sine theta 2, where the refractive index is defined as the ratio of the speed of light in a vacuum to that of the material. We also know that total internal reflection occurs at the critical angle, given by sine theta c equals N2 divided by N1. How to solve the problem? Write down the things you know and don't know. I'm going to have air as material 1 and glass as material 2. N1 equals 1.00. Theta 1 equals 50 degrees. N2 equals 1.65. Theta 2 equals question mark. Write down the equation we will use. Snell's law. N1 sine theta 1 equals N2 sine theta 2. Rearrange the equation to get sine theta 2 equals N1 sine theta 1 divided by N2. Substitute in the values. And remember to have your calculator in degrees and not in radians. The answer is 27.7 degrees, rounded to 28 degrees. Use a protractor to draw the refracted ray at 28 degrees to the normal. Continue the ray through the glass until it hits the boundary. Draw a normal line where the ray hits the glass air boundary. Now we have to calculate the incident angle of the ray at the glass air boundary. To do this we draw a right angle triangle. We know one angle is 27.7 degrees, the other is 90 degrees, so the missing angle is 180 minus 90 minus 27.7, which equals 62.3 degrees, and hence the incident angle measured from the normal line is 90 minus 62.3 equals 27.7 degrees. At this boundary, I am going to call glass material 3 and air material 4. This means N3 equals 1.65, theta 3 equals 27.7 degrees, N4 equals 1, theta 4 equals question mark. Write down the equation we will use, Snell's law, N3 sine theta 3 equals N4 sine theta 4. Rearrange the equation to get sine theta 4 equals n3 divided by n4 times sine theta 3. Substitute in the values. The answer is 50 degrees to the nearest whole degree. This makes sense due to the symmetry of the problem and the reversibility of light. Finally, draw the exit ray. And there we have it, the path of a ray of light through a glass block when entering at 50 degrees to the normal.